What's going on everybody? It's Greg Campbell, Angry Riffs here, coming at you with a new Angry Tones clip. Um, talking about a new amplifier today. You guys might have seen a little bit of this out there on Instagram and Facebook, but the High Watt High Five Pure Tube Amplifier has just been released to the States not too long ago. Uh, most of it, which is designed in the UK. Um, High Watt is known for the UK amplifiers back in the 60s, 70s. Really, really sick tones. Classic, legendary tones. But they never really dabbled in the high gain market until they released last year the super uh, custom super high 50 when it was max watt high watt now it's under new ownership they got the name high watt back and i want to talk about it this is a killer amplifier and the tones are stunning i'm really shocked it's a high quality studio amplifier but it really shreds so let's check it out i got a different angle today i'll switch it around when i play guitar as usual a different angle uh, but right now i want you to see the front of this thing we'll go over some pros and we'll go over some cons Mostly all pros, check it out. So what we got here is our power and our standby. Nice bright red light to let you know it's engaged. You got your bass, treble, volume, gain. I know what you're thinking. Where the hell is the mid-range? I'm a mid-range guy, I wanna have some mid-range in here. But you know what, the controls, your bass and your treble are extremely responsive and your gain reacts to these in different ways. I've noticed there's at least maybe three or four different gain stages, it sounds like, from way backed off to higher gain settings. But without the mid-range, I'm getting by and it actually sounds really awesome. I wish I had something more clever to say, but the way this bass and treble responds with each other, I'm able to get a scoop sound if I want it. I'm able to get more of that modern tone with some upper mids in it. And I may be even able to get some of that alternative and uh, 80s thrash kind of grind tones out of it. So <clears throat> moving on, we have our overdrive switch. When you gauge this on, you have overdrive, your gain is active. When you click this off, you actually have a clean setting. That's right, it's a two channel amp, okay? Wish I could turn around and show you the back, but I'll explain the back. You have your power in and you have your speaker outs, okay? You have two speaker outs. So I'm running two 112 cabinets down here, oversized cabs by Randall loaded with V30s, <clears throat> excuse me, and it sounds sick, okay? Let's go over the cons real quick. We went over the mid-range. I do wish I had a mid-range, but I'm getting by. It's making do. I do wish High Watt would have added, in my opinion, it needs an effects loop. You can run your effects through the front, but I'm a effects loop kind of guy. I like to use EQ sometimes. I like to use a BBE Sonic Stomp. I like to use my delay, reverbs, all sorts of different effects. This does not have an effects loop. However, what it does have in simplicity makes up for it because the tones are killer. So forgive me for a sec, let's move this camera to a different angle here and let's just go ahead and see how it sounds. Oh, let some natural light in there. It's a beautiful 57 degrees in Nashville. Just wanna let everybody know that's usually chilly right now. Well, let's see what we got. Let's just play around through it. <clears throat> let's start with some cleans. Let's see what the cleans sound like. I really like this amplifier and the cleans are sparkling. All right. Rhythm switch is all the way down. We're in the treble mode. <laughs> Let's hit the rhythm switch, get a little more buttery tone. Already has a much brighter clean than my Randall. Nothing will touch the distortion on this as far as the high watt stuff right now except for the custom super high 50. 
but this Randall has a lot more higher gain settings and stuff like that, but the clean on it's very warm. I really like it and I can EQ it certain ways, but it's a very, very warm sound. This is really bright and sparkly. Enough of that. It's not the right note anyway at the end, but <laughs> anyway, it's having fun with it. Enough about the cleans. Let's hear, actually, let's hear the cleans with an effect actually real quick. What's that sound like? <laughs> Try a little echo. This is a uh, tape echo by CNZ Audio, and I like it a lot for textures and stuff. So let's see what it does with the clean setting with the high watt, high five. <laughs> to the treble switch, add a little more echo. How does it respond? kill that now let's go into our high gain territory with the high five check it out we're now engaging our overdrive let's see what we got <laughs> So I'm going to do a quick little volume roll up, roll down, and uh, then we'll just jam with it for a little bit. See if you guys like the tones as much as I do. But I'm loving it. Once again, this is the Pure Tube High Watt little 5 watt amplifier, and it shreds. So let's do that volume roll up and down. All right, here we go. a little more here. Increase a little more here.
like the tones as much as I do. This was the Pure Tube Hi5 little amp by Hi Watt. I was introduced to it at Summer Nam in Nashville last year and had to have one. I played the combo version going through a little 10 inch Fain speaker and just the sounds of it were incredible. So when we were at the show, um, I asked if I could use the uh, Hi Watt 212 they had sitting on its side there, a little, little cabinet. 212 cab and we ran the combo through it and the, the tones were even more off the hook so I knew I had to have one so anyway I just want to share with you guys once again angry roofs coming at you I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I do um, quick little afterthought here <clears throat> that we didn't go over in the beginning you got two tubes in the amplifier you got an EL34 and you got an ECC83 which could also be a 12AX7 power tubes that came with the amp are Ruby tubes um, but you can also throw in whatever you want. I got a pair of uh, Sobtex that are going in this Randolph soon and a pair of Sobtex going in the high watt. So use that in the future. But the tubes that came with it, that were designed with it, that the uh, technicians over there put in this amplifier were perfectly fine and it sounds amazing. But I hope you guys enjoy once again and thank you guys for choosing to watch some of these videos here. I really like it. And you'll see a lot more with this amplifier. We're going to have more videos coming soon, so stay tuned. I'm going to be going through it with an overdrive in the next couple of weeks. A couple of different overdrives. And uh, also going to see what it sounds like um, doing another full-length video with a 7-string guitar into uh, going in drop A and drop G sharp. That's some of my favorite tunings, and we'll see what that sounds like next. But thanks again, guys, for checking it out. Talk to you later.